couple months ago I put up how to process your own deer step by step. This is breaking down the front shoulder. And this is the front shank right here is what they call this. And I'm just kind of scoring around. I want to cut right above the elbow there all the way in. And I'm just trying to work it around this uh, ball joint right here. This joint's kind of tricky. That's a little lower than you always think. Uh, so you have to kind of go in there and then skin down just a hair to get it to pop. But once it pops, it's, uh, it's good to go. Uh, what I do with this piece of meat, I will take it and I will throw it in a crock pot. I mean, it's got plum full of tendons. Most people just grind it. But it is very delicious once you get those tendons to uh, break down and come apart and it makes some really good pot roast and uh, once you get it real close to coming loose you can just pop it over I would next time just hang it off the edge of my cutting board and give it a good pop and it would probably come off a little quicker but there you have it there's the shank I use that like a pot roast all right now you got the rest of the upper front shoulder I like to find this bone that runs down the center of it right there. You find out with your fingers and just cut down with your knife. And then you're just going to fillet the meat off of the bone. Just like so. You want a good sharp knife. You all know my brand, Raptor Razor. And this piece, you know people who can take, you can take it off and make a roast out of it as well. Uh, my dad used to never grind any meat. He always cut roast, jerky, and steaks. I mean, that was it. That was all his deer was. Score the other side and then come in and connect the two. And you get a little bit larger piece of meat off this front side. The front part of the shoulder. But you do it the exact same. Just fillet it right off the front shoulder. Until you get to the edge. And then I just... Uh, just cut it off in uh, two big chunks. Like I said, I like to have some grind meat for deer chili and deer spaghetti and deer meatloaf and deer, deer, deer. I love the deer. So I grind up, usually grind up all my front shoulders just so I have enough ground meat. Turn it over here and uh, trim that off. Then uh, you're also going to want to trim some of this fat off because I add my own fat. I add uh, beef fat or pork fat sometimes, depending on what I'm making. If I'm making summer sausage to my grind, I'll add pork fat. But a lot of the time, just to my ground meat like this, I will add beef fat. Trimming off that big chunk off the back now. Get it trimmed up. And the reason I'm cutting off a lot of this uh, fat is because there is a gland in this meat. It's right here, I believe. We'll take a look at it here in a little bit. There's a big old chunk of fat in the front shoulder. No, it's on the front of it, right, right up here. That's where it's at. And uh, there's the same kind of piece on the in the hind quarters exactly the same there's a there's a piece of giant piece of fat in it and it hides the a gland and I'm not I mean, I've never ate a deer gland I don't think and I don't think I want to so um, I cut that out Here's another chunk of grind meat and one more big chunk of grind meat then I just kind of pick at it like a crow well, ooh, that's the that's part of the tip of the back strap right there. Anyway, I uh, wanted to do this video. I talked about it on the step-by-step -step instruction video on how I break my deer apart. I'm not a professional. I don't know the probably don't know the proper names to none of this, but I have been doing this for over 20 years. I've never had my deer processed, so uh, it's something I've learned from my uncle, my dad, you know, it's just 
that's how I do it and it saves me a lot of money every year especially if you're going to do four or five or six or seven like I do <clears throat> yeah, it looks pretty clean and uh, yeah that right there go to the dogs here I'm going to show you the uh, gland that's all the waste we got there's the gland right in the center of that sucker Ugh, take that I don't think I'd want to eat that Hey, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. God bless. Love y'all. Learn how to do your own meat. You'll love it.